Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are taking a look at selectors. So selectors are a way of selecting one or more Kubernetes objects. Remember, objects could be pods. Uh, objects is also uh, could be generalized as meaning Kubernetes components. So in Kubernetes, there are three types of selectors. So we have label selectors. So selects Kubernetes objects based on the applied label. And so this is the example or um, the type of selector we're gonna heavily focus on uh, in this course. But the idea here is that you have your selector and we're saying match on uh, all pods that have uh, the key environment with the, with the value um, production. And so then it selects only those pods. You have field selector. So select Kubernetes objects based on the object data like metadata or status. We have node selectors. So select nodes for very specific plot placement. Let's take a look at what we do when we apply uh, labels. So labor select, label selectors define labels as key value pairs. Probably should have a slash there under metadata in the manifest file. So notice here, it says metadata, and then there is our label. This is the key, this is the value. As you can see, we can have multiple, um, multiple um, uh, uh, labels, okay? So on the worker node here, we have, for example, this one says EMV prod, and then it says app nginx web, just to kind of match up what that means there. So you can use the hyphen show labels to see all labels. So here's an example for pods, and this will work for a variety of different uh, Kubernetes objects. You can apply labels with the label command. So you can do kubectl label pods, Apache web owner equals DevOps. So you can do it here in the manifest file, or you can do it here on the fly. I always do it in the manifest file. I never do it on the fly. Um, but, you know, I just want to make sure you are aware of all those options. Okay.